Hi guys, and good to see you again in April. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winnerability Commons. This episode is my residential market update for months of April for all Seattle and all east side locations. I will start with month supply of inventory for all King County and Snohomish County. As you guys can see with me on the screen, this slide, we have pretty much yellow color. And yellow color is less than two months supply of inventory. What does it actually mean, less than two months supply of inventory? It means if will be no more new listing for next two months, will be no homes to sell in King County in Snohomish County. That represents strong seller's market in Seattle area right now. We'll start this episode with story. And I want to show you guys this property right now. The older house was built in late 60s, was renovated in 80s, was listed on the market a few weeks ago and survived on the market only four days. This house was listed around $2 million and went much higher over asking price. It's very interesting situations in East Side right now, specifically in Bellevue. Every house have multiple offer situations and have more than five or six offers on the property going pending with 10% higher than list price. With $2 million mark, 10% higher, it means people willing to pay right now $200,000 above asking price in Bellevue locations. Another example, this townhouse was listed in South Bellevue. It's a townhouse, not a house, and survived on the market only a few hours and closed within 10 days. That's really unbelievable. In many settled neighborhoods, in many east side neighborhoods, we see very, very strong demand for housing market, and we have very limited supply. And speaking of supply, let's start with reviewing what's happening in all Seattle neighborhoods in all settled neighborhoods, and I will put for you guys those neighborhoods on the screen to see. We have 1.1 month supply of inventory and medium close sell price is $925,000 and increase for 6% year over year. Unless we have more supply in settled neighborhoods, I think price is gonna be continue climbing till the end of this year in all those Seattle neighborhoods. In Seattle neighborhoods, 37% homes sold about asking price and sold for about 8% about asking price. 8% from $925,000. That's approximately a little bit over $70,000. 22% homes sold at asking price and 19% homes sold below asking price and sold for 3% below asking price. You guys can see with me those circles, uh, comparisons to the last month and last year, same time. And you guys can see we have pretty similar situation last year, comparable to this month and comparable to last month. This is important data. 67% homes in sale neighborhoods selling less than 15 days on the market. That tells me, guys, market is moving really fast. Houses doesn't stay long on the market any longer. And within one month's inventory on the market, this is not a lot of homes for sale right now in those neighborhoods. And now let's look together what's happening in sales east side. Sales east side. It's all city combining together. We combine data together from uh, cities like Bellevue, Kirkland, Redmond, Issaquah, Sammamish, Woodenville, Basel, Old Mercer Island. All those cities together data we combine it together to see what we have with medium close sell price, how many months supply of, of inventory we have in those areas. And data shows for us, you guys can see with me on the screen right now, we have 0.6 months supply of inventory in all those locations. And medium, medium close sell price is $1,600,000. $82,500 and increase for 19% year over year last month. On this slide, you guys can see data from last 10 years. 
we had few years of 2019 and 2023 when market was down and prices decreased but for last 10 years in sales east side neighborhoods prices went up over 100 percent that means if somebody bought a home 10 years ago and just simply keep the property prices double for all properties for all those people who purchased properties 10 years ago and this slide guys a little bit scares me 53 percent homes sold above asking price and comparable to last month it's much higher number and comparable to last year same time it's double number this year people pay nine percent more for the house to buy to compete with other buyers 15 percent homes sold at asking price only 16 percent homes had price reduction only for two percent and sellers was able to sell them this year happens something very unprecedented we never seen the history of east side ever price increase for 14 percent or over two hundred twelve thousand dollars in one single month we never see this in the history of your site yet and that's happened this year in 2024 prices went up i don't know why media is quiet about that but this is a very unprecedented fact and i'm happy for people who purchase properties who bought properties even a year ago or two years ago and with this high demand and over 50 percent homes so selling about asking price right now in the market that tells me this year price is going to be increased a lot by end of this year in seattle east side and this slide shows 78 percent homes in seattle's east side sold less than 15 days in the market game over guys game over we have very strong demand we need more houses we need more people to sell properties move buy something else we need more new constructions because we have such crazy demand in this market right now and we have not enough homes for sale and lastly i want to show you guys this market absorption this is a very interesting data it's comparable to the last year and uh, for last month what's happened with the how many new listings come in the market how many uh, we have active listings right now and you guys can see this data with me on the screen right now so market is moving pretty fast we have a lot of home selling in neighborhoods but uh, i will not gonna go to details you guys can stop this video watch for your city for your neighborhood if you have any questions, please reach out to me, call me. I would love to answer all questions you have about your neighborhood and your situation. Let's move on to my advice. What I will advise for buyers to do and for sellers to do in these current market conditions. I will start with the sellers. In Windermere, we have a Windermere Ready program. It's a great program. It helps people to uh, renovate properties, pay for staging, uh, pay for landscaping. And a lot of property needs some love, needs some work if you guys don't have those money available for those needs reach out to me and i can help you to uh, get with the ready program before you list the property we can list it uh, sell it in the great conditions and get top doors on today's market and you guys can see in this episode we have very strong demand we have a lot of buyers in each city we have thousand people looking for homes in seattle bellevue kirkland redmond Basel all those locations and we do not have enough homes for those buyers to buy and we have very very strong market right now which is great news if you are a seller if you are a buyer do not try to be on the fence to buy property real estate is a great investment and you cannot time the market when to buy when going to be best interest rate you guys can see data in this episode for last 10 years prices increase for 60 percent in seattle for all homes over 100 percent for all homes in seattle's east side and regardless if you buy in seattle's or east side uh, if you keep property at least for 10 years you will be very well off you will have a lot of equity and this is a great investment but again only buy if you're able to buy willing to buy and ready to buy and those basic steps still in a place today affordability still a big issues in our area 
and not many people can afford to buy property. That's why we have very hot rental market. Rent is going up crazy again. But if you guys have enough income, have great job, great support, and you able to buy the property, do not miss opportunity. Do not wait for another 10 years when price is going to be double again. Reach out to me. Uh, you can call me, text me, email me. I would love to be your real estate resource and answer any questions you have about buying or selling real estate in Seattle or all the side neighborhoods. With that, guys, have a fantastic week. Enjoy this beautiful spring weather outside. Until next time.